Hi everyone and welcome back to my final morning report Charles appraisal on Wednesday the 13th of April with me which pay market analyst at Ante Market. So we're looking at gold now and we've had this sort of rally in gold in the in the past sort of week yes, and it started yes, to roll over yesterday's uh, negative candle started to sort of peak out um, and uh, that's continued today now we're down sort of eight nine bucks on the day um, and uh, it seems to be that uh, this rally that we've got on gold is just started to roll over now my my sort of thoughts on gold are still the fact that I think that the, the support in place is now sort of strengthening around that 1190 level between 1190 and 1208 and I think we're going to get a bit of a sort of a, a range fit period now I think we're going to get choppy moves between this range I don't necessarily think we're going to get a break to the upside I think um, it's going to be sort of continuation of this uh, sideways move between 1190 and uh, 1282 so about 90 ticks of range there um, 90 bucks of range now we've had this move in the last sort of few days yeah. and you can see here that the uh, you've got the bearish divergence with the higher highs on the on the price but yet the lower highs on the hourly RSI the falling MACD lines and the lower highs on the stochastics so the pressure is growing uh, or certainly that would suggest that the waning upside momentum but the pressure is now growing to the downside because you've got this small top pattern in place arguably a head and shoulders top about 11 bucks of uh, downside target from the breakdown which is um, at uh, sort of uh, 12.52, sorry, 12.51, so it gives you around about 12.40 of your downside target, so um, it certainly looks like we're going to get this uh, sort of corrective move, but you've got the p pivot in place at 12.43, uh, that has been in on this chart for a while now, um, for the past sort of six or so weeks, that level has been pivotal. Uh, providing the base of support and resistance. So I, d I expect that to be again sort of looked at as the basis of support. Um, but certainly the corrective move is seemingly now taking hold. Um, but uh, 1240 is the downside target from that move. So it looks like there's going to be a near term sort of dip in this uh, in this gold price as that uh, high at uh, 1262 has sort of come in and uh, that um, just I think, as I said, I think it's going to continue to play out as this uh, choppy range play. So we've seen a bit of a bit of a near-term high in place, but I'm not saying that this is going to be a massive sell signal. I think it's just going to retrace within the within the uh, within the range, and then I think this range is something that we're going to have to now increasingly play on a near-term basis. So we're looking out for those uh, near-term signals, and we've just had one with that uh, sell signal and the sort of corrective move back towards 12.40. So I wish you good luck in your trading on gold today. Um, the next support below 12.43 comes in at 12.29.20. Okay, good luck and I'll speak to you later, thank you. Oh, sorry.